we need to open up our own trust book. I and agree. Being, and like I've been talking about it, somebody put it up on Facebook today. How come nobody's talking about the fact that they're stealing uh, orders from black men? I've been saying on this show for the last three years, and Brother Bates can testify to this. Do not sign the back of your driver's license, ever. The back of your driver's license, when you sign it, means that you become an automatic organ donor. If you are involved in an accident on the highway, and it is a serious accident, they will not try to resuscitate you. They will not try to save you. They will not do anything. They will push your behind in a car and let you bleed out. Until they get to you and take your body. Okay? Mm-hmm. Not under any circumstances, ever go to a hospital alone. Make sure you know that a family member always accompanies you to a hospital if they are talking about giving you any type of major surgery. Let me tell you, I got eight kids. Okay? And when I had to have my surgery done, I call all of them and let them know. I need somebody at this hospital with me when I go in, and I need somebody at this hospital with me when I wake up. Mm-hmm. Okay? And I, I and I didn't play that. My, my baby daughter came with my grandson, and my grandson was like, no, I'm going. That's my grandma. And he's, he's a little kid. He's, he's like, maybe now, maybe he's when that happened, he was five. He did everything to keep me up, to wake me up. I mean, he did everything to keep me from going under. And they, the hospital was surprised that a little kid would do that. You know, a family member always, always never go in by yourself. Because they are still in black men's organs. That is why we got on hospital. Yes. And, and as you said it, and then as you said it too, we have to have uh, watch certain people that we have around us. Because I, I believe that's what happened to uh, Dr. Khalid Muhammad. He had the different people around him. Yes. You must be very careful. If you are a noted person, you must be very careful with who you are Germanic tribes? They're Slavic people. Oh, Slavs, okay. Okay. And, and the, the, the language that they speak is not Hebrew. It's called Yiddish. And it's, it's German. It's German, and it's mixed with a few Hebrew terms. That's it. The only Hebrew that they speak is when they go to temple. And they read the Torah. That's it. But he said Jewish. 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 Jewish.
They tell a lot of lies. And Kali, let me tell you about Kali. Kali uh, was a member of the uh, the, the Chile. He was a, he did help us in Uruguay. In fact, he was one of our volunteers that went over to fight in the revolution in Uganda. Okay, and when he came back, he was a totally different person. Uh, he when he came into the Chile, he was everybody just revered him. Uh, Phyllis uh, Sixty was uh, one of my good good friends. When they got together, we thought Collins was going to be the one, you know, to uh, to bring the shoelay up the far because he had gone over his fought in Africa, and yes, we were going to be able to make that transition to Africa, you know, hands across the water. <laughs> Didn't happen. Collins went into the nation of Islam, and I don't know what happened to Collins. They brainwashed that brother, and when they brainwashed him, he thought that they were. And those were ignorant men that killed him. You know, ignorant men that was around. I mean, that, that uh, shot Kyle up. You know, there's a lot of ignorant men. So first of all, before we can do that, because we're not gonna we're not gonna be able to get all of our people. I'm gonna just be straight up with you. Facts. You know, because some they got a lot of troublemakers and uh, troublemakers, and some of them we're gonna have to get rid of. You know, but it starts with the, it starts with the youth. Yes. Uh, Brother Clinton. I'm here, sister. You have, you have something you want to say about that? Oh, I was saying facts. Um, oh, okay. I, I tell, I tell my friend this all the time. A, a lot of us, a lot of us are not gonna make it, and we have to, we have to understand that because a lot of people is not ready, and time is not waiting for us. Well, yes, yes, and and you can believe this. Y'all can bet your money on this. When the revolution go down, all us old pastors are gonna be frontliners. We not gonna stand back in the back like uh 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 Dr. Shabazz tried to do with me. He says, Oh, oh sister, uh you 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 need to step back and let us young people uh take over the new black Panther party. Ain't no way in hell. And I told him straight up, no way. We started this, we gonna finish this. If anything, when we get to them, they're going to want us to leave them alone, okay? Because what I'm teaching you guys now is this. Self-sufficiency is the best weapon against them. The key. The boy shot, the boy shot that I, I went to Shabazz even after we had our argument. And I told him, I said, listen. I already told you about this Kwanzaa business, okay? I'm not down with nobody, United States, nothing. And Corinda can kiss where the sun don't shine, okay? And we need to stop supporting this holiday, period. No Kwanzaa, no nothing, okay? I said, you ain't told us this is the way to bring them to their knees. And once I just explain it of how they, how they balance their books, Hold on, sister. Sister, what day was this?
We could do that this year. Black Friday's in two months. Yeah, well, we need to do it again this year, too. I'm, I'm down. Every year. Every year. I'm down. Every year, every, every, every 25th of the month, we need to not spend a dime. According to what's happening right now in Chicago, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised that Black people get off like this just another day. Um, excuse me, elders? Brother and sister? Brother and sister? Sister Melody? Yes. So, um, what... What was the training like for new recruits in the Black Panther Party? Like, well, was there a training program? Uh, the section of our 
our military was called the Black Liberation Army, okay? And um, the political part of our organization was called the Black Panther Party, which was a big thing, okay? Now, um, when I look at the, the things that could be done, uh, number one, in order to achieve land, um, we can purchase it, but actually, we have a treaty, and that treaty is called um, uh, Field Order Number 15. Say it again. Now, Field Order Number 15 is the treaty that we have with the United States of America, uh, Black, excuse me, Black African descendants uh, were given by by William T. Sherman and the president at that time, I think it was Abraham Lincoln, or oh, Lincoln was assassinated, granted uh, black people, those five states, because of their participation in the army and their help with uh, bringing, um, bringing down, uh, I think it was... Uh, what was it? Shaman Brown down to the ground. I think it was uh, Charlotte. I do believe it was Charlotte. I think it was North Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah, I think bringing Charlotte down and, and Fort Sumter uh, under, well, it, Fort Sumter was never defeated, but they did actually go in and they did surrender. Okay, because they surrounded oh. Sumter and, and they were starving them out. So they did surrender. But they were not defeated. So that's why you have a lot of these racist uh, soldiers who came out of there and their descendants uh, propagating all of this crap and, you know, still flying the flag and still being a part of the KKK talking about the South will rise again. Yeah, okay. But, um, did they actually sign Field Order 15, though? Yeah, there's actually a treaty, and I tried to talk to uh, Lieutenant Colonel Sherman, and I said, you know, I think that there's a treaty that we can sign, and I think that there's a treaty that we can sign, and I think that there's a treaty that we can sign, and I think that there's a treaty that we can sign, and I think that there's a treaty that we can sign, and I think that there's a treaty that we can sign, and I think that there's a treaty that we can sign, and I think that there's a treaty that we can sign, and I think and you tell me to spend this money on the radio to work my song as a black leader, then as a black leader, they will be worth your song with that honorable jury into the Supreme Court and bring up that treaty. Because if you don't, they're going to keep on acting like it don't exist. Uh, they don't even teach this in high school or college. No. So, okay. so why is it a lot of money? Because of the court cases going back and forth the court? Okay. 